The question of the day is, did Uncle Lou really die or he's still alive? Who actually called for Jukebox's release and why? What happened to Unique's jacket that Lou stole from his car? Will Basket tell Raquel how Tony was planning to set Marvin up and what this means for Basket if Tony no longer works in the club? And how Marvin did play Tony just like Ghost did pass? What's up YouTube and power fans, it's your boy Nino and I'm back with another power video. If you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and leave your comments below. Now in this video, we'll be talking about the above listed topics starting from the most controversial one which is if Uncle Lou is dead or alive. Now most people believe strongly that Uncle Lou is dead because of how well the scene was executed and also the emotions that Uncle Marvin exhibited at the end. Well as a writer, it is your job to tell a story that is believable and at the same time has a twisted path. Yes, Uncle Lou was set to die in episode 8 but as a character who still has room to play interesting roles, a great writer will have to see such a character while trying hard to kill it. And at the end, you'll be able to create that illusion of someone dying but can possibly be alive just like the executed ghost scene with Tariq until today we never saw an RIP post of Ghost. So to answer if Lulu is dead or alive, yes, Uncle Lulu is still alive and here is why. Now, how did the writer make you believe Lulu is dead? Nick's boys came prepared, they burned the house, shot through it as many times as possible enough to kill him. Now, the shooting was not only to kill Lou, but to keep him in the fire until he passes out by choking and then burning finally. So if they had kept shooting for a longer period, Lulu would have choked to death and possibly burned to ashes. It didn't end there. The writer added a voiceover epilogue with an interesting narration that creates that feel that Uncle Lulu died to pay the price of the game. So as an audience, you'll be quick to admit that it is over for Uncle Lulu. Finally, the writer played the convenience card in the episode 8 whereby in order not to divide the audience affection for the St. Thomas family, the moment Raquel sacked Marvin was the convenient time for Lulu to get shot at so that even though we the audience might be sad Marvin is out of the crew, we get reason at the end of the episode to have hopes of Marvin getting back in. And to climax everything, Marvin will have the chance to prove his gangster moves to his sister and the audience as well. Now having said that, how did the writer save Lulu from dying? By bringing a distraction and that is Uncle Marvin. Knowing very well that the fire and the smoke could possibly kill Lulu, Bringing Uncle Marvin to the scene at that moment will be the best way to scare Nick's boys off and save Lulu from dying completely. The second thing is Lulu was quick to lie on the floor so he was not hit. Therefore, it is possible that he didn't catch a bullet. But rest assured that Lulu will be on oxygen in an isolation. Also, we might not be seeing Lulu anytime soon just like when Kanan was bent in power. If Rack wants Nick to believe they have succeeded in killing Lou, she'll keep him out of sight just like we never saw Scrappy again till now after he survived the beatings. Now moving on to Jukebox, I expected her emotional reaction to Nicole's death and I think this has made Jukebox extra cold. I saw someone's comment concerning who saved Jukebox when she was arrested. And the person said it was Detective Berg because she once told her she could help her but I personally don't think she was the one who called that shot. This is why and I'll tell you who called for the release of Juke Box. Considering the place and the circumstances around Juke's arrest, there was no way Detective Bell could have known she was the one. Reason is that she doesn't even know Juke's real name for her to know that she was the one who got arrested. So the person I think made the call for Jukebox to be released was Nicole's father. He was the only one who felt and realized her pain. With what Kanan told him at the church about how Juke truly loves Nicole and for him to meet her again in her room crying with all the emotions in her face alone says a lot to Nicole's father. And he knows Jukebox was innocent and wouldn't hurt their daughter to the point of death. And you could even see that Nicole's father even feels like her death broke Jukebox even more than himself and his wife. So I believe he made some call and they let go of Jukebox because apart from he and the police who made the arrest, no one close to Jukebox knew she was arrested to be able to call such a shot on their way to the station. Now, 
Tony got busted for drugs and she decides to help the cops to pin it on Uncle Marvin. This situation, even though not similar, reminds me of when Paz wore wire to meet Ghost at Truth so that he can make a mistake and say something that could implicate him, which he never did, by the way. It's the same thing Tony was trying to do to Marvin. Now, Stephanie seeing what was going down, he has two possible things to do, which is one, he will either tell Raquel about it or he will tell Marvin himself. Now, point of interest, if Stephanie tell Raquel, then he's putting her interest and her business first, as well as gaining her trust the more. But if Stephanie decides to tell only Uncle Marvin, then he knows very well that he'll end up killing her. Even Rack won't hesitate to kill Tony since they never got along from episode 1. Now, if Tony is dead, Stephanie gets the possible chance to take over the club. And when that happens, it will benefit Raquel since she'll be able to sell her products there. Now, for the jacket Lou took from the car remains a mystery. The question is, will Lou be able to carry out his intention now that he's between life and death? What was Lou actually going to do with Nick's jacket? Well, I think he was going to be used to commit a huge crime and frame Nick as the culprit. Now, the attack on Lulu by Nick is going to launch worse revenge on him from Raquel and Marvin. All his cars, his storage and products will be burned to the ground. I'm sure Rack is going to hit Nick harder than he ever hit her. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about all the topics I've talked about. Do you think it was Nicole's father who called for Jukebox to be released? Do you think Uncle Lou is still alive or is dead? Share your thoughts with me. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button. If you are new to my channel, kindly share, like, leave your comment, subscribe to my channel. If you are new, let's grow together and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.